Friday, March 7th at the Vintage Faith Church. We'll put a notice up on the website at brightsideben.com. I also want to encourage you to check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, which we update regularly with blog posts as well as news stories. Thank you to my webmaster, Robert Lundgren. All right, our number today, 855-660-4261. If you've got questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds, if you want to help a loved one get off their meds, we can help you. If you have a success story or you want to contribute to our conversation, 855-660-4261 is our number. So connective tissue, we've been talking about how it's uh, connective tissue as it regards the structure of the body, but the blood is also, the blood vessels and the blood itself is also a kind of connective tissue. Blood is considered liquid connective tissue. And then the... Uh, the uh, vessels that channel the blood, that's also made up largely of connective tissue, and so is the lymph. And we don't talk anywhere near enough about the lymphatic system, lymphatic congestion and circulatory congestion in general. And by the way, the lymph and the, con- the, circulatory, the, lymph and the blood are essentially the same system. They kind of merge. They're separated out from most of the body, but they merge in different parts of the body, and they kind of pool into each other. So it's all basically the same system, the lymphatic, and, uh, lymphatic system and circulatory circulatory congestion in general will exacerbate any health challenge, and this is one of the major links to degenerative disease and early demise. Lymphatic congestion, that is stuff getting into the lymph and not getting pulled out. And this is one of the causes of hypertension, by the way, of high blood pressure. If you're on an antihypertensive, a a beta blocker drug or a diuretic because your, your blood pressure is too high, it's in a way it's kind of ironic because your blood pressure builds up when the lymphatic system is congested and, and then you take and the circulatory system is congested this will cause pressure to build up and then you take a blood pressure drug that slows down your heart and slows down the pressure even more that's how these antihypertensive drugs work they shut down the heart now leaving aside the utter stupidity of, of uh, a medical professional dispensing a drug that, that suppresses the heart leaving that aside for a minute if you have hypertension tension because your, con- your circulatory system is congested, and now you stop the pressure at the heart level, where, uh, which is pushing the blood through, that's going to cause more leakage, that's going to cause more congestion, and that's going to cause even more problems, and now you've only exacerbated things. If you're on antihypertensive because your pressure is building up, because blood can't move through the crap that's piling up, and the lymph can't move because of crap that's piling up via leaky gut syndrome or digestive issues or food intolerance intolerances, now you've only exacerbated things. This is so important, this link between the lymphatic system and hypertension. And considering how toxic most of us are and how clogged up our lymph is, it makes perfect sense that 80 million Americans or more are going to have high blood pressure. Doctors have a great term for uh, high blood pressure when they can't figure out the cause. They call it essential hypertension. And the vast majority of, uh, of hypertension is said to be essential hypertension. So what does that word essential mean? It means doctors don't know what's causing it. Essential means we don't know why you have high blood pressure. Essential as in it's just basic. It's just part of the wiring. It's not basic. It's not part of the, pl- the wiring or the plumbing. Essential hypertension means the blood is not moving correctly, and it happens for two reasons, and two reasons only. Actually, it happens for one reason, a body in distress. That's the only reason. We've got to cut through the chase of this nonsense of our 12,800 different medical diagnoses and different diseases, no matter what you name your disease. It's a sign of the body in distress. The body is your baby. And your baby is crying. That's what it is. That's all degenerative disease is, is our baby is crying. And yes, we can take duct tape and wrap it around our baby's mouth. And that's what your antihypertensive does. It takes duct tape and wraps it around your, your baby's hypertensive mouth, your body's hypertensive mouth. But that's not, you know, you may not have to listen to the baby crying. That's not going to help you. Hypertension and all degenerative disease is the manifestation of a body in distress secondary to stuff getting in, into the body, into the blood that shouldn't be there. When fluids don't move around because things are pooling up, doctors will call that fluid retention. And it's the first thing physicians treat when it comes to high blood pressure. They'll put you on a low-salt diet. It's more medical stupidity. Low-salt diet, please. And even worse, they'll dispense a diuretic, which will force your body, compel your body to lose fluid, as well as B vitamins and as well as the electrolytes and all the water-soluble nutrients. One of the worst things, if not the worst thing, you can do to a body that's already in distress is give it more toxins that it has to process, and that's exactly what the medical model does via prescription medicine. That's what prescription medicine is all about. 
This is the dirty little secret of the drug business. The body has to process the drugs through the poison control system. And this is not part of the side effect profile of drugs. You know, you read about the side effect, uh, side effect profile of drugs, that's bad enough. Every drug's got side effects. That's, that's bad enough. But the little sneaky little secret that the drug companies don't talk about and that your doctor doesn't even know probably is that the body has to process the drugs through its poison control system. And this is a burden on the body that results in more toxicity in addition to side effects. The load on the liver, the load on the detox enzymes can exacerbate lymphatic congestion. And if we're unhealthy enough to be medicated in the first place, the lymph is usually going to be clogged anyway. Now you've got an added burden, which you may not even notice, even though eventually it's going to take its toll. The worst thing, I'm telling you guys, the worst thing you can ever, ever do, and the sign of an ignorant medical professional, by the way, is to take a high, an antihypertensive or to have a doctor dispense a hypertensive drug for high blood pressure. It is so stupid, it's beyond belief. You're shutting down your heart, number one. That's stupid enough. But then you're only going to clog things up more. You got more. The pumping action, the heart, which represents the pumping action, is now suppressed. That means less drainage of toxins. The body's a pressure system. If you knock off, if you stop the pressure at the heart level, that means less drainage of toxins. And because cells depend on pressure to be fed, Cells are fed through, through uh, the action of pushing, through the action of pressure from the liquid system, the blood and the lymph. That means less nutrition to the cells, and it means less oxygen as well. Less drainage of toxins, less, uh, less uh, uh, pressure for, food, for feeding a cell, and less oxygenation. That's what you get with an antihypertensive drug. Now, who thinks that's intelligent, doctors? Who thinks that makes any sense? The body is a pressure system. Its chemistry and its metabolism depends on pressure. Antihypertensives stop pressure at the heart level. Dumb, dumb, dumb. And that means cells aren't going to be fed. Cells aren't going to be breathed. Cells aren't going to be detoxified as effectively as they should. That means cells will become defective. That means cells will die. That will ultimately lead to a defensive response. Defensive response means immunity. It means inflammation. As the body attempts to clean up the mess and protect, the, protect itself from the mess, of course, that means even more toxicity. And that's where you get your downward vicious spiral of degeneration and early demise. And your doctors are complicit. Now, you can use magnesium, 2,000 milligrams a day, for high blood pressure. Absolutely. You can use niacin, time release. You can use the CoQ10, the Healthy Star Pack, the Mighty 9. They're all important. But as long as you've got this toxicity going on, this lymphatic congestion, this blood pressure, uh, circulatory system congestion, you're going to be dealing with high blood pressure. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back with your phone calls right after this. 855-660-4261 is our number. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. I'm David Cordeni, President and CEO of Cigna. We're proud to support the March of Dimes by walking in the March for Babies. It feels great to know that the money we raise funds life-saving research and programs that improve the health of babies. With your help, we can make this year better than ever. Join Cigna and our coworkers across the country in March for Babies to help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthier babies. Start your team today at marchforbabies.org and march to help our babies. Thank you. Now you can get the same survival food U.S. Special Forces use on their toughest field missions. High-protein, high-energy, freeze-dried foods known as long-range patrol rations or LERPs. Soldiers love LERP rations. They're lightweight and easy to carry. Easy to prepare by just adding water. Easy to enjoy because they taste great. Civilians love LERPs as a solution for emergency preparedness and recreational activities with limited storage space, such as hiking, climbing, sailing, or RV travel. Veteran-owned Freeze-Dry Guy is your exclusive source for this 2013 U.S. military overrun. Long on nutrition, these delicious entrees have a long shelf life lasting decades. 
but this rare opportunity, this limited supply, will not last long. You have to act now. Call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD, or log on now to freezedryguy.com, freezedryguy.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Curious about what comes next? Next is the feeling of vulnerability you get after you arrive home to discover your house has been ransacked by burglars. Fool the bad guys with a new improved fake TV. You asked for it, we listened, and we made our new fake TV three times brighter than our previous model. The brightness of our new fake TV is equivalent to a 40-inch TV. It simulates the color and motion of a real TV while you're away from home. And when burglars think someone is home watching television, they're likely to pass your house and move on to an easier target. The new, brighter Fake TV is only $39.95 and includes free shipping. Go to FakeTV.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. That's 877-532-5388 or go to FakeTV.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. We are the premier independent talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. G-C-N. Welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm Farm Spent. Thanks for being here. 855-660-4261 is our number. We'll continue this discussion on lymphatic congestion. We haven't talked about this anywhere near enough considering how important it is. And circulatory system congestion as it regards connective tissue tomorrow as we continue talking about peptides and proteins, the importance of protein for building things, for building the body up. Protein deficiency is such an important factor when it comes to breakdown. And it should come as no surprise, by the way, that we're protein deficient. Protein's expensive. Protein is, uh, breaks down easily. It doesn't preserve well. It doesn't lend itself to the mercenary economic food model. There's a reason why our economic food model is based in grains processed grains is that at that these processed grains can be stored and shipped and, and uh, sit on shelves they have a, it has a shelf life protein doesn't really have a shelf life good protein anyway doesn't really have a long shelf life relatively speaking now processed protein does that's the problem with processed protein you know even whey is a processed protein this is why you want to be so careful of your whey protein this is why i talk about one world whey so much because it's such a, a nice protein it's not easy to find a really high quality whey protein don't go to Costco. Don't go to the supermarket to buy your whey protein. Be very careful about your whey protein. It's a little more expensive to get a quality protein, but you don't want to be skimping on protein. You don't want to be skimping on, on uh, uh, probiotics either. There's certain nutrients that you don't want to skimp on, probiotics and protein especially. 
Protein is so darn important. I would say protein deficiencies are one of the major reasons for our degenerative disease crisis that we're dealing with in this country. It's no accident that as we started to get more of our calories from grains 10,000 years ago, that's when really degenerative diseases started to kick in.